Today, I'll share how to get more leads in network marketing. First, I'm gonna share the psychology of leads and how you really need to be thinking about them to get more of them. Number two, I'm gonna share why most people struggle with lead generation. And lastly, I'm gonna give you the very best way to get leads right now. There was a time in my network marketing career where I was just so afraid of reaching out to people that I knew and even telling them that I was in network marketing. And so I really wanted to generate leads too. And I just want to encourage you, we're going to teach you how to get leads today, but I want to encourage you that if you start stepping up and you start showing up more powerfully in, in different areas of your life, it's amazing how you'll start attracting higher quality people. And so if you've yet to tell your friends and family that you're in network marketing, there's videos in this channel on exactly how to say it without being annoying or weird or you know, or are you feeling you know disappointed or anything? And so I would encourage you to, in your pursuit of generating leads, make sure you do ask the people that you do know. And, and I'll tell you, there's nothing worse than going to a company event and seeing someone you know but never reached out to cross the stage. I had that happen. And after that, I vowed, I'm gonna tell everybody around me that I'm in it. Whether they join or not, that's up to them. And so in your pursuit of leads, make sure that you're also letting the people around you know. So what is the psychology of leads? Well, you have to understand that everyone out there, and just make this blanket assumption, and you, I promise you, you'll be safe. Everyone out there is thinking, what's in it for me? No one cares about raise quota. No one cares about, hey, I just got hit with a big bill, guys. Nobody cares. No one cares what my quota is. No one cares my desires. They only care about their desires, their problems the things they struggle with. And so there's there's a real tendency for you know people to get into network marketing and they go with sorrow or, or they go with their desires. Hey guys, I'm really trying to save up to get a new car. You know, least you could do is buy a candy bar from me. And okay, well, a couple people accommodate you, sure, but that's never gonna build an actual business. And you are in a business. Network marketing is a business. And a business is a provider of value. A business is a solver of problems. You know, why did, uh, why did Peloton do so well? It's an exercise bike, right? Why did it do so well? Because people wanted to be led by a coach without leaving their house. They wanted it to be more interesting. Exercise pretty boring. You gotta get creative and like look at TVs and stuff, right? So they wanted to include it and make a more immersive experience. Then they did the whole, you know, let's make teams. Let's compete against different teams. Now they mixed in competition. Think about the old school way of, of exercise bike and no competition unless you're just competing with yourself, which only a small percentage of people would actually do like, you know, as far as their times or, or whatever their measurements are, I don't know. And so they made competition, they made it fun, they made it diverse with so many different, you know, instructors. Think about uh, top golf. I mean, one of the most boring things on the planet, a golf driving range, right? Right? They're, they're, they have a soda machine, right? And it doesn't have the, the flavor that you want. Has There's no food, of course, because it's a golf driving range. Then top golf comes out and they charge you an arm and a leg, but they get you beer, they get your wings, they get your nachos, they get all these fun targets and different games that you can play, these electronic displays. It's awesome. That's why they're doing good. They're solving a problem and they're providing value and they're helping to solve desire. So in your marketing, you have to think about what problem are you solving? What desire are you helping to accomplish? And are you speaking to them? You know, my good friend, Ben Settle, he says, talk more about their crabgrass than your weed killer. What the heck does that mean? Well, most people, what do they do? They talk about their weed killer. They talk about their vitamin E, or they talk about their shampoo, or they talk about their essential oil, or they talk about their CBD. They should be talking about the actual problem, which is the crabgrass. Talk about their stress. Just talk about them struggling for sleep. Just talk about their low energy. Talk about being overweight. Talk about their problem more than your solution and you'll have people reaching out to you like crazy. So why do most people struggle with leads? It really comes down to understanding the sales cycle. So the sales cycle is something we originally taught in the 14-day challenge. 
And the sales cycle is the understanding that there are only two to three percent, and that's a very optimistic number, there are only two to three percent of people out there just looking to buy what you got. They literally just came on Facebook, hey Martha, I'm looking for a new CBD oil. Here's one, right? Very few people are out searching for that thing that you're selling, but there's a lot of people that need more information, especially on social media. When you just go for the jugular, when you're like, buy my thing, here's the cream, here's the shampoo, here's the weight loss pill. When you just go in like that, maybe you're falling on two to 3% of people that are just ready to buy, but you're turning off 95%, 95% plus of people. They're not ready to buy when you, so when you try to make them buy, you turn them off. So think of 95% of the people on your social media channel, NMI, need more information. And so instead of just hitting them with your sales link, instead provide value, give them tips. So if I had a product, CBD or whatever, that helped with sleep, guess what I would do? I would do short videos around how to improve your sleep. I would talk about rating different pillows, rating different mattresses. I would talk about what not to eat. Don't eat cayenne pepper before you go to bed, whatever. I would talk about things to do and not do so that you get a higher quality of sleep. And I would turn on the 95% who love that kind of information. They have a problem they're trying to solve. And then I would follow up with those leads and tell them my solution. I might ask them, hey, you know, tell me about your sleeping journey. What have you tried so far? Oh my goodness, I tried a lot of those things too, but I found this thing that really works well. So see, that's a much more natural progression in the sales cycle than just trying to cram your sales page link down everyone's throat on social media. So before we get to my last point, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you're serious about growing a network marketing business, we cover every aspect on this channel. Everything from closing to mindset to follow up to daily routine to, you know, creating, you know, TikTok videos, Instagram videos, etc. And so make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell button so that you're notified when we roll out a new one. We roll out 20 new videos every single month, high quality in depth to help you become the best network marketer you can possibly become. So what is the best way to get leads right now? Well, there's no question. There's a there's a new giant in the in the marketing arena and that is short videos. Short videos are the King Kongs. They're the Godzillas. They're the they're the gorillas. They're the they're the monsters of marketing now. So, you know, for example, on our Instagram channel right now, last week we reached 3.2 million people who don't follow us. <laughs> with no ads only through Instagram Reels. And so what's beautiful and amazing about these short videos, TikTok, Instagram Reels, and Facebook Reels, is they have a totally different algorithm than what most people are used to. See, most algorithms, they will take your content and show it to a small percentage of people that follow you. If it does well, they'll show it to a little bit more. Never 100%, right? So that Facebook post that you made, uh, you have never had 100% of your friends that are connected to you ever see that post, any post. But you know, depending on how well it did, a little bit more got shown. Reels and TikTok, they operate a little differently. They take your content and they show it to people they think might like the content, whether they know you or not. So this is the ultimate and most amazing way any of us have ever experienced on how to get in front of more people that you don't already know. And for free, that's what's crazy. And not, even, not only for free, there are, there are times where you can actually get paid. We make between $1,600 and $2,100 a week from people viewing our Instagram Reels. Think about that. That's crazy. That's nuts. And by the way, it's not just influencers. You know, we have students that were not influencers that had videos go viral. And we have one student that has over 15 million views on one video. And that's with not one dime spent in advertising. And just for context, because maybe you can't wrap your mind around that, uh, 15 million is higher than the number of people that watched the last Olympics. Think about that. For free, how much did they spend? Hmm, maybe a little bit more. This is the way for you to get in front of more people and for you to generate more leads. And so we have, you know, Facebook Reels with over a million views. We got, I have a couple of Instagram Reels with over 3 million views. And so this is absolutely the way. If you're serious about network marketing and you're not doing short video, you're not doing reels or TikToks, then uh, you ain't that serious. Let me tell you, get out of your own way, 
Get out of your comfort zone. Start making these things. Don't worry so much about them being perfect because they're not going to be, especially if you're new to doing them. But get in the habit of doing these things. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a resource to help you with this. So in the description down below, I'm gonna give you a link to what we call the short video three-step launch. And this is a training that will walk you through step-by-step step what to say, what to do, how to crush it on TikToks, how to crush it on Facebook Reels and Instagram Reels. And I realize that you may not have uh, Facebook Reels where you are. By the way, we're trying to track this. Do you not have Facebook Reels? If so, comment below. Let me know where, where do you live? Because I'm just, I'm just curious when everyone's gonna have access to these things already. They are amazing and incredible. Whether you got it or not, Click the link down in the description. It'll walk you through how to crush it with short video.